Hi everyone, Fired Up Prepper here, and today's video is just going to be uh, my Sam's haul, okay? Every time I do a Sam's uh, trip for the family, and uh, we get our meat there and a lot of other things, I always try and get one or two things. A lot of times it's just one, you know, to put away. And so this time I actually got five items and just wanted to share them with you. Good good ideas, good things to think about, and uh, just kind of share the cost and information with you. So let's get started. So the first thing is the Quaker Maple Brown Sugar Instant Oats. So this right here, this box of 40 count packets, there's 40 packets of Instant in here was $7.58. That comes out to just under 19 cents a serving. It's pretty good, right? So you consider, you know, that's 40 mils for one person, or, you know, there's, you know, two people, you got 20 mils. 100% uh, whole grain oats, good source of fiber, no high fructose corn syrup, no artificial preservatives or sweeteners. So that right there, the Quaker oats, that was $7.58. It's 40 counts, which means there's 40 packets in there. All you do is add your boiling water and let it sit for a little bit, and you're good to go. And just under 19 cents per serving. So staying with the breakfast type uh, item, we're going to go to the buttermilk pancake mix. That's a pretty big bag. It's 10-pound bag. It's a 10-pound bag of pancake mix, okay? That bag there, oh, I forgot to say real quick, on the Quaker Oats, uh, I will buy another box, but this box I'm actually going to open, and I'm going to break it up, I'm going to put some in my, uh, you know, probably put maybe like a week supply in my bug out bag or more, uh, put maybe three or four in my day bag, and you know, that kind of thing, I need to put a couple bags together for my wife and some other things, but uh I will buy another box, but that's kind of my idea how I'm going to use that is right off the start. That's a good size, and I'll, I won't just put them in there like that. I'll put them inside of a Ziploc bag, kind of weatherproof them a little bit if, if possible. So anyway, back to the buttermilk pancake pit, ba uh, bag. Easy for me to say. 10-pound bag of pancake mix. That bag is $5.98 for 10 pounds of pancake mix. Uh, it's 200 to 230 servings in that 10-pound bag, which is 0.299 per serving. That's pretty darn cheap. So uh, like three cents a serving or whatever, uh, isn't that what it is? Yeah, I mean, it's only 5.98 for the whole bag, and that's 10 pounds. So you can see what I do. Uh, you see that date right up here? That's about the most that I do. I just, everything I buy, I put the date that I purchased it on, uh, just for my own my own knowledge. And this is just add water. That's all you gotta do. If you want them, you know, you can, I'm sure you can add eggs in most pancake mixes you can, but this one here, just add water and you got pancakes. Next on the list, kinda sticking with the morning routine, is the solid tin can coffee. Now, uh, Normally, I would buy at Sam's the Folgers in the plastic tub. It's got a little hold handle there, and I've got a lot of those. But here's the thing. Those don't store as well. Number one, uh, you know, the tin can's going to hold it fresher longer. And uh, anyway, it's also probably cheaper. Uh, this right here, this is 48 ounces. 48? Yeah, 48 ounces of medium roast coffee. And it was 867. So that's uh point uh, it's just over 18 cents an ounce for 48 ounces. So that's gonna make you a lot of coffee. Now I'm terrible. Uh in the morning I have I wish I had one of my coffee cups up here, but I got one of the larger, you know, stainless steel ones that keep your coffee uh real almost all day long it'll be at least warm and i make a full pot of coffee which in my in my drip maker is is 12 cups i think 10 or 12 cups and 
you know, I always make a whole thing and I pour my coffee and I shut it off and there's always a little bit and a few cups left in the bottom. So it's kind of wasteful on my part. But uh, So here's the other thing. You might say, well, Jim, if the electricity goes out, how are you going to use your drip maker? Aha. Uh -huh. Last year, I bought one of the old-fashioned uh, percolator coffee makers. So you can set that right on an open fire uh, or on a grate on top of a fire. Uh, if you've got your propane stove, you can set, set it right on there. And it's the old percolating style. It's what my mom used growing up where it percolates up top and, and it's, it's good to go. So I've got one of those and I need to test it out. I need to really uh, kind of fine tune it so I don't wait until, but I haven't used it yet, but I did buy one. And uh, so that's how I'll do it. Uh, I did have a, a Keurig also where you have the little Keurig cups. I actually bought it at the uh, uh, thrift store for $13. I used it for two years and then I just got rid of it and I went back to using my my drip here but uh, anyway so coffee next six count there's six packages of pasta here two of the elbow macaroni two of the spaghetti and two of the penny and uh, so six total boxes non-gmo what else can I tell you about it? So this, these are six one lid packages. And let me see if it gives, I, I thought I wrote, I should have wrote it down. I should be looking at my list here. Ah, uh, yeah, there it is. So it's, it's about 16 and a half cents per serving. And this was $7.92 for all this, for six pounds of pasta right here. And what I will do is I have another one of these already. This is actually the second one that I've purchased. I will uh, put these into like gallon size, uh, whatever it, whatever I can find. Uh, of course, I'm not going to put it all together into a five gallon uh, mylar bag, but I'll find some quart to gallon size mylar bags, and I'll do that. So that whole box right there was only seven ninety two, seven dollars and ninety two cents. So last but not least is this right here. This is about the third uh, box of this that I've purchased, the bowl of noodles. This is the hot and spicy. And there's 18 in here. And those 18 cost $14.48. That comes out to just over 80 cents per serving. So, but you know, if that's a meal or part of a meal for for one person, just one bowl. A lot of people just eat that and they're good to go, maybe for lunch or whatever, but you just add the hot water, let it sit for three minutes and you're good to go. But that's that. Uh, there's so much. I get honey from Sam's, you get two, two in a container. I get peanut butter from there, uh, lots of things. One of the things that, that I store that, you know, you wanna think about, let's say you get down to having to boil creek water or whatever water you can in order to eat with uh, and drink, you might want to make it taste a little bit better. So you boil it to purify it or whatever you're going to do to purify it. And then you can add, you know, you can make coffee. I've got a can of hot cocoa up there. I've also got a can of a uh, another juice drink mix, I think, from Oh, who's that from? Uh, Thrive, I think. What well, It was Thrive, Thrive Foods. Uh, and let's see, I think that's about it. I also have, uh, from Sam's, I bought these plastic things, and I should be showing them to you, but I just did these because I had them out here and I left them out for the video. But the bouillon cubes, you can get beef bouillon and chicken bouillon. You know, just something to give you the taste and a little bit of comfort stuff instead of just drinking plain old water. So anyway, think about those things. Think about, think about prepping not just water and, you know, storing water and being able to purify water, but maybe making it taste a little better, you know, get, get you some bag teas and, and instant teas. I also started, uh, which what I think is an awesome idea, uh, in case you don't want to percolate and you can't use your dripper, instant coffee. I've never really... Drank a lot of instant coffee I have here and there, like in the hotels and stuff. And I don't hate it. Of course, it ain't the best, but for storage and for SHTF situations, it's excellent. Because all you do is put it in your 
boiling water and stir it up and you're good to go. You have your instant coffee. So, and there's a lot of different instant coffees out there that you can get. I know Pastor Joe Fox, I think he, uh, Viking preparedness, he, he's always drinking coffee, you know, at his videos and he gets them from, uh, some guy or whatever sends them to him that he markets coffee. But anyway, so that's about it folks. Sam's and just do what you can with what you've got, where you are right now. You can't get it all at once. Sometimes I buy one item when I go. I go, you know, if I go to get dog food and the meat and everything else for the family, it just depends. But this time I did a little bit more. And, you know, this was a total of under $45 for all of that that I showed you right there. And there's a lot of meals there. The pancake mix, the the uh, uh, Quaker oatmeal, that's 40 meals. That's 18 meals. You know, six different uh, one-pound packages of pasta that's a lot of meals and then all the coffee cups that you're going to get out of that so that's a lot for under fifty dollars anyway guys hope that helps just get started just do a little bit if that's all you can do now i've got 25 years shelf life food uh not a lot i've bought it from a couple different places i've tried it from a couple different places i've got some in my bug out bag i've got like uh four or five days of the uh the mountain house that i had actually i bought that at walmart when i first started and i haven't I tried it out. I tried like one or two of the uh, uh, recipes, you know, one or two of the different dinners, and I liked them. So I just keep them. I just now put them in my bug out bag. So anyway, stay fired up, stay focused, stay free. Get down below and make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell, the little alarm button, so you get notifications on new videos. Uh, share this if if it helps. Uh, it would help me if you if you would to your Twitter, your Facebook, wherever. Uh, and, uh, comment, comment. Let's see what you got to say. You know, what, what are your favorite preps? What do you prep? What do you get from Sam's? What do you buy from the regular store? So anyway, guys, take care. We'll see you on the next video. Fired up.